Welcome to the Linear Algebra course. This course number is M132. This is a three credit course. We will follow for the lecture and all the lectures that follow the course calendar of the uh, course. Um, the lecture today will cover sections 1.1 and 1.2 as I said uh, according to the course calendar. We will begin uh, first uh, by uh, discussing uh, linear algebra specifically where linear algebra is applied and used in real life situations for example when you take a digital photo with your phone or transform the image in photoshop when you play a video game or watch a movie with digital effects when you do a web search or make a phone call you are using technologies that built upon linear algebra so linear algebra provide concepts that are crucial to many areas of information technology and computing, including graphics, image processing, cryptography, machine learning, computer vision, optimization, graph algorithms, quantum computation, computational biology, information retrieval and web searches. Linear algebra in turn is built on two basic elements, matrices and vectors. We will discuss matrices uh, in more detail later on and we'll talk about the definitions of uh, matrices. But we can say for now that a vector is a column matrix. Is a column matrix. Uh, as you can see, uh, the 4 by 6 matrix on the left is uh, a matrix that has four rows and six columns. The matrix on the right is a vector matrix, or it's called the column vector. It has five elements. Below, we have an example of a row vector, which has eight elements. In this course, we'll talk about the following topics. Systems of linear equations, matrices and matrix operations and these are uh, from chapter one the next topic is vectors linear combinations and linear independence which are part of chapter two from chapter three we will discuss vector spaces subspaces span bases and dimensions from chapter four linear transformations null spaces and ranges and finally from chapter 5, uh, with only section 5.1, we will talk about eigenvalues and eigenvectors. We'll start uh, talking about systems of linear equations. What is a system of linear equation? It's a set of equations is called a system of equations. A linear equation in n unknowns has the form a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3 etc a n x n equal to b where the variables are of first degree if all equations in a system are linear the system is a system of linear equations or a linear system the solutions to the system must satisfy each equation in the system For example, solving the following linear system, 3x plus 2y equal to 11, minus x plus y equal to 3, what we can do is we can assign a number to each equation. For example, the first equation we can call it equation 1, the second one we call it equation 2. As you know, there are several methods that I'm sure you have learned before how to solve this system in this case here in this example we will use substitution method the solution is as follows we solve for y in the second equation y equal to x plus 3 we substitute the value of y in the first equation 
so we have 3x plus 2 instead of y we replace the y by x plus 3 equal to 11 we expand by multiplying out the factors we obtain 3x plus 2x plus 6 equal to 11 we add the equal to the like terms we have 5x we take the 6 to the right side 11 minus 6 is 5 so we have 5x equal to 5 this will leave us with x equal to 1 we take the value of x we place it in the value for y where we have y equal to x plus 3 so now y is equal to 1 plus 3 and y equal to 4 therefore x is equal to 1 and y equal to 4 the solution set is written as follows 1 in large brackets comma 4 matrices are used in this course information in science and mathematics is often organized into rows and columns to form regular arrays tables of numerical data that arise from physical observations therefore we can say by definition that matrices a matrix is an array of numbers that represent quantitative data arranged in a structured way for example the matrix that we can see this is a 2 by 3 matrix that has two rows and three columns linear system and matrices solutions of linear system is obtained by performing appropriate operations on a certain matrix so as you can see in this course we will take systems of equations write them in matrix form and use matrix operations to solve the system in this case here we have a 2 by 2 linear system this can be written in a matrix form as shown the matrix form on the right is called the augmented matrix of the system for any system of linear equations we have three possibilities we can have a unique solution whereby if we're talking if we are using two dimensional planes we have lines and the lines intersect at one point so the system x minus 3y equal to 4 and 2x plus 4y equal to minus 1 as you can see intersects at the point x equal to 1 and y equal to minus 1 these are independent this is an independent system and this system in this case we say has a unique solution a system also can have infinitely many solutions if we if we taking the taking the case of the lines where we have x plus y equal to 3 and 2x plus 2y equal to 6 we notice that the lines are multiple of each other and uh, in this case the lines coincide on each other and every point on line 1 is a solution in line 2 that's why we have infinitely many solutions in this case we set one of the variables as a free variable for example we let t y equal to t so that x is equal to 3 minus t where t belongs to r this system is called a dependent system the last case is a new solution in this case the lines are parallel and they will not intersect for example x plus y equal to 3 x plus y equal to 4 as you notice these lines have the same slope and therefore they will never intersect in this case we say that the system is inconsistent does not have a solution therefore we can talk we can define a system as being consistent if it has at least one solution 
Therefore, by definition, we can say that the system is consistent if at least it has a solution. Consider the system of m equations in n unknowns. So then we have m rows and n columns. As you can see, the coefficients have two subscripts, a11, a12, etc., a21, and so forth. A11 represents the first row, first column. A12 represents the first row, second column. A21 represents the second row, first column, and so forth. This system can be written in matrix form, as can be seen. The matrix form is AX equal to B, where A is made up of the coefficients of the variables a11, a12, a1n, etc. and b is the column vector that represents the variables x1 to xn and b is a column vector that represents the components the right hand side of the equations this system can be written in augmented matrix as seen on the right. So the way we write the augmented matrix is we have on the left side the coefficient matrix, uh, the coefficient elements separated by a vertical line, and on the right hand side we have the components. Consider the system of three equations in four unknowns x1 plus 3x2 minus x3 plus x4 equal to minus 7 x1 plus 2x2 minus 2x4 equal to 9 3x1 plus x2 plus 4x3 equal to 7 the matrix form of the system ax equal to b is as follows a is equal to 1 3 minus 1 1 1 2 0 minus 2 3 1 4 0 this is a 3 by 4 matrix that has uh, three rows and four columns. It contains the coefficients of the variables x1, x2, x3, x4 in order. The vector, column vector x, contains the variables in order, and the column vector b contains the components minus 7, 9, and 7. Therefore, the augmented matrix. A slash B is equal to the coefficient matrix and the component vector separated by the vertical line. The homogeneous system of a linear equation, this is when the components on the right hand side are all equal to zero. In this case, we call the system a homogeneous system. For example, x1 plus 3x2 minus x3 plus x4 equal to zero, x1 plus 2x2 minus 2x4 equal to zero, 3x1 plus x2 plus 4x3 equal to zero. The matrix form is ax equal to zero a times x equal to 0, where a as before represents the coefficients of the variables, and uh, this is a 3 by 4 matrix again, x is the column vector that represents the variable, and 0 is the column vector that contains the 0 values on the right hand side of each equation. Again. The matrix can be represented in augmented matrix as follows a slash zero and uh, as you can see you'll have the, on the left hand side the coefficients on the right hand side the zero and separated by a vertical line Solving a system of linear equations involves writing 
the system in augmented matrix as you may have guessed secondly applying the Gauss Jordan elimination steps referred to as the row reduction process to obtain the reduced row augmented matrix on the bottom right hand side of the slide and thirdly the solution of the system are found as shown on the top right hand corner of the slide so in our attempt to solve systems of linear equations the process would be as depicted in this slide we will have to write the system in an augmented matrix we will have to do elimination an elimination process called gauss jordan elimination to make row reduction to transform the matrix to an equivalent matrix as seen on the right hand side bottom right hand side then the solution can be read as you can see from the bottom up or top bottom doesn't matter where you will have z equal to 3 y equal to minus 1 and x equal to 2 By definition, an M by N matrix A is said to be re in reduced row echelon form if it satisfies the following conditions. All zero rows consisting entirely of zeros, that is a row that contains only zeros, if any, are placed at the bottom. So in other words, if by doing or applying the elimination process, we have a row of zeros we move the row of zeros to the bottom of the matrix the first non-zero entry from the left of a non-zero row is one called the leading one for that row as seen below in the example each leading one is to the right of all leading ones in the row above it each leading one is the only non-zero entry in its column as you can see below all these uh, three matrices with different sizes are in reduced row echelon four the first one is a three by four matrix as you can see the first column has a one in the first row and zeros below the second column has a one in the second row and zeros above and below the third column has a one at the bottom side with two zeros at the top the last column uh, can be left as it is the second matrix is the same it has uh, pivot elements in columns one two and four the third matrix has pivots in one two and one four and six columns A system of linear equation, as I said, for example, these are examples of uh, reduced row echelon form. For example, the matrix on the left hand side has the three circle, which has to be removed. And the matrix on the right shows the correct reduced row echelon form matrix similarly with the matrix 4x4 four four matrix in this case the 1 needs to be eliminated to produce the matrix on the right hand side finally the matrix below the last matrix has a one here this circuit one has to be not removed but as we said what we need to do is uh, place the rows of zeros at the bottom 
so all we did was switch rows between the third and the fourth rows in other words we have interchanged rows 3 and 4 to obtain the matrix on the right hand side elementary row operations that can be used on a matrix are as follows we can interchange two rows we can multiply one row by a non-zero number we can add a multiple of one row to a different row what we're saying here is by applying any of these steps will result in a matrix that is row equivalent to the original matrix in other words the original matrix and the matrix obtained as a result of these operations are equivalent when we say equ equivalent it means that they have the same solution set example the matrix A with elements 2, 3, 5, 1, 1, 2, 2, 0, 3 what we do is we interchange row 1 and row 2 so that we have the pivot element 1 in the first row then we can multiply row 2 by 10 and then we can perform the operation the row operation row 3 minus 2 r1 and place it in row 3 to obtain the following matrix 1 1 2 20 30 50 0 minus 2 minus 1 and we call it b then in this case we can say that matrix b is row equivalent to matrix a why because matrix b was produced by applying the row operations listed above this is an example of how to apply row operations say we have a system x plus y plus 2z equal to 9 2x plus 4y minus 3z equal to 1 a 3x plus 6y minus 5z equal to 0 let's call uh, the first equation row 1 the second equation row 2 the third equation row 3 this system of equation is written into an augmented matrix as seen on the right hand side then what we can do is start to eliminate start the elimination process we want to change the two element two which is uh, on the second row first column change it to zero in order to do that we do the following operation r2 minus 2 r1 and we place the results in row 2 if we do that we obtain 0 2 minus 7 minus 17 in row 2 then if we want to change the 3 in the original matrix the 3 where it existed in the third row first column we want to change it to 0 then we what we can do is row 3 minus 3 r1 and place it in row 3 to obtain 0 3 minus 11 minus 27 note that in both cases what we've done if, is we have used row 1 as a reference in eliminating the elements in row 2 and row 3 of the first column another example find a matrix b in the reduced row actual form that is row equivalent to the matrix a a is a 4 by 4 matrix that has elements 0 minus 2 4 4 1 minus 1 3 1 0 1 minus 2 minus 2 3 minus 4 11 and 0 this matrix what we can do we can first interchange the rows row 1 with row 2 so that the uh, first element and the first row first column is a 1 a pivot of 1 then we can do uh, r4 minus 3 r1 to eliminate the 3 and the third and the fourth row first column 
so we do r4 minus 3 r1 and place it in row 4 to obtain the matrix on the right hand side we can divide row 2 by minus 1 over 2 to produce 1 minus 2 minus 2 then in the as you notice in the second row we have a pivot of 1 we want to eliminate the minus 1 above it and the 1 below it and minus 1 below it in the first row in the fourth row so in order to do that we add row 1 and row 2 add row 1 plus row 2 and place it in row 1 we subtract row 2 from row 3 in other words row 3 minus row 2 and place it in row 3 and we do row 4 plus row 2 in row 4 this will change the elements below the 1 and above the 1 to 0 as can be seen on the uh, in the matrix on the right hand side then we interchange row 3 and row 4 so that the row of zeros is placed at the bottom as mentioned before in the rule the step the following step is to divide by minus 1 over 5 so that the pivot is 1 and then we can uh, add row 1 plus row 3 in row 1 to eliminate the minus 1 in the uh, first row fourth column and we do row 2 plus 2 or 3 and place it in row 2 to eliminate the minus 2 in the second row fourth column this will produce the row reduced actual form matrix B matrix B is row equivalent to matrix A Another example, find a matrix in reduced row echelon form that is row equivalent to the matrix below. This is a 4 by 5 matrix that has elements 1, minus 2, minus 1, 2, 3, 1, minus 2, minus 1, minus 1, 0, minus 1, 2, 1, 0, minus 1, 2, minus 4, minus 2, 2, and 4. What we want to do is find an equivalent matrix. The equivalent matrix is found by applying the row reduction technique discussed above. First is we do row 2 minus row 1 and we place it in row 2. Then we do row 3 plus row 1, place it in row 3. Then row 4 minus 2, row 1 and place it in row 4. What this does is eliminate the elements bef uh, af below the one in the first row, first column. Then we divide the second row by minus one over three, as can be seen in the obtained matrix. Then we do row one minus two, row two place it in row 1, row 3 minus 2 row 2, place it in row 3, row 4 plus 2 row 2 and place it in row 4. This will ensure that the elements below the 1 in the uh, second row are changed to 0. And this will produce an equivalent matrix. Let AX equal to B and CX equal to D be two system of linear equations, each of M equations in N unknowns. If the augmented matrices A slash B and C slash D of these systems are row equivalent, then both linear systems have exactly the same solution. To solve a system AX equal to B, First, we need to form the augmented matrix A slash B. 
find the matrix C slash D in reduced row echelon form that is row equivalent to the matrix AB by using elementary row operations as we did before in the two previous examples. For the matrix CD, there are three possibilities. The number of leading ones equal number of unknowns variables then the system has the unique solution x equal to d or the number of leading ones less than the number of unknowns then the system has infinitely many solutions here the non-leading variables unknowns corresponding to the columns that do not contain leading one end up as parameters and the leading variables unknowns corresponding to columns that contain leading one are given in terms of these parameters in other words in this part what we have is the number of uh, unknowns is greater than the number of equations for example we may have two equations and three unknowns or two equations and four unknowns in this case we're bound to have infinitely many solutions this is translated to having the number of variables greater than the number of rows in the augmented matrix. Finally, the system can be inconsistent if in the last row or the row above the zeros, we obtain zero equal to a number or equal to one or equal to something. In this case, the system has no solution because this is an impossible case therefore looking at the this slide we have ax equal to b written in matrix form which is transformed into a slash b as augmented matrix then we apply row reduction as we've done before to obtain the augmented matrix CD which is row equivalent to AB then we have these uh, three possible cases as you can see the one on the left hand side this has a unique solution the stars represents numbers that could be anything and the second one the middle uh, augmented matrix we have infinitely many solutions as you can see we have the number of variables a greater than the number of rows in other words we have only two rows to work with as the last row is eliminated since it contains only zero which is useless lastly this system is inconsistent has no solution is impossible as you can see from the last row you have zeros on the left side and a one which is an impossible case example solve the system of linear equations x plus 2y plus 3z equal to 9 2x minus y plus z equal to 8 3x minus z equal to 3 this system can be written in augmented matrix as follows 1 2 3 2 minus 1 1 3 0 minus 1 9 8 3 if we apply row reduction techniques that we have used before the augmented matrix is as follows 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 and on the right hand side we have 2 minus 1 and 3 in this case the number of leading ones equal to the number of unknowns 3 by 3 and the solutions can be read where z is equal to 3, y equal to minus 1, and x equal to 2. This system has a unique solution. The matrix x is a column vector, x, y, z equal to 2, minus 1, 3. Another example, this, ex this uh, system has uh, four rows or four equations and four variables. Then it's a 4 by 4 system we as usual we write the system as an augmented matrix 
1, 1, 2, minus 5, 2, 5, minus 1, minus 9, 2, 1, minus 1, 3, 2, 1, minus 1, 3, 1, minus 3, 2, 7, and on the right hand side we have a 3, minus 3, ele minus 11, minus 5. The reduced row echelon form that is row equivalent to the augmented matrix is as follows. Again, this is obtained by applying the uh, row operations that we have uh, seen before. So what we have is 1, 0, 0, 2, 0, 1, 0, minus 3, 0, 0, 1, minus 2, and the last row is the row of zeros. And on the right hand side we have minus 1, minus 5, 2, 3, 0. As you can see, the number of leading ones is less than the number of unknowns. In this case, we have infinitely many solutions. Also, in other words, the number of equations, we can say that the number of equations or rows is less than the number of variables, as you can see. Okay? Because we have four variables, and from the reduced row echelon form, you can see that we have only the three usable rows, because the last row is useless. Okay, so in this case, as we said, we have infinitely many solutions. So we'll start off by using W as a free variable. We'll let W equal to T, where T belongs to R, and we solve the other variables in terms of T. So the solutions are X equal to minus 2T minus 5, Y is equal to 3T plus 2, Z is equal to 2T plus 3, and W is equal to T. So the solution set is as seen on the right hand side where t belongs to r a third example we have a system again in this case we have a three equations and four variables x plus 2y plus 3z plus 4w equal to 5 x plus 3y plus 5z plus 7w equal to 11 x minus z minus 2w equal to minus 6 we write the system in augmented matrix as follows 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 3, 5, 7, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2. On the right hand side, we have the components 5, 11, and minus 6. We apply the row reduction techniques to obtain 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, 0, 1, 2, 3, and the row of zeros on the, on the left hand side. Then on the right hand side, we have 0, 0, 1. As you can see, from the last equation, what we can see is that 0x plus 0y plus 0z plus 0w is equal to 1, which is impossible. This is an inconsistent system that has no solution. Other examples, the system of linear equations ax equal to b would be different than 0. If x1 and x2 are solutions, then rx1 plus sx2 where r plus s is equal to 1, is also a solution. Example, if x1 and x2 are two solutions to the system of linear equations ax equal to b, where b is different than 0, then show that 3x1 minus 2x2 and 0.25x1 plus 0.75x2 are also solutions. If x1 and x2 are solutions, then we can say that x1 and x2 satisfy the matrix form of the system. In other words, we have ax1 equal to b and ax2 equal to b. Substitution, substituting 3x1 minus 2x2 into the equation, if 3x1 minus 2x2 is a solution, they must satisfy the matrix form of the equation. In other words, we have A times 3x1 minus 2ax2. This is equal to 3b minus 2b equal to b. Since this produced uh, a value equal to b, then 3x1 minus 2x2 is also a solution. Similarly, in this example, if x1, x2, and x3 x solu are solutions to the system of linear equations, then 
3x1 plus 2x2 minus 4x3 is also a solution. For the homogeneous system of linear equations ax equal to 0, if x1 and x2 are two solutions, then rx1 plus sx2 is also a solution. Example, if x1 and x2 are solutions, are two solutions, then 3x1 plus 2x2 and 10x1 minus 5x2 are also solutions. The homogeneous system is always consistent. It has a solution. It has consistent, has at least one solution, which is either of the following. The unique solution, x equal to 0, which is called the trivial solution, or it has infinitely many solutions. Infinitely many solutions that includes the trivial solution. This is called the non-trivial solution. Example, find all values of A for which the system has no solution. Infinitely many solutions has a unique solution. As you can see, this is a system, a three by three system. In other words, three equations and three unknowns. And it contains uh, the variable A, where A belongs to R. What we need to do is find the value of A for these different cases. One, when the system has no solution. Two, when the system has infinitely many solutions. A three, when the system has a unique solution. So what we do is uh, first we write the system in augmented matrix. And we apply Gaussian elimination process. Gaussian elimination process to make the matrix upper triangular as seen in the slide. So the way to do this is we do R2 minus R1 in R2 and R3 minus R1 in R3. The matrix on the right hand side, the augmented matrix on the right hand side, as you can see, is an upper triangular matrix. Upper triangular matrix. Therefore, we can start looking at the various conditions. First, the system has no solution if A2, looking at the last row, A2 minus 4 equal to 0, and at the same time, A minus 2 is different than 0. Therefore, a is equal to plus or minus 2 and A is different than 2. So the intersection between these two conditions is when is A equal to, minus, equal to minus 2. So therefore the system has no solution when A is equal to minus 2. Secondly, the system has infinitely many solutions if A2 minus 4 is equal to 0 and A minus 2 is equal to 0 at the same time. Therefore, a is equal to plus or minus 2, and A is equal to 2. The intersection between these conditions is for A is equal to 2. Therefore, the system has infinitely many solutions when A is equal to 2. Finally, the system has a unique solution if A2 minus 4 is different than 0. Therefore, A is different than plus or minus 2. This translates to A belonging to the set R, without the plus or minus 2. Example, let A equal to 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 1, 0. Solve the homogeneous system AX equal to 0. As said before, we write the system as an augmented matrix and apply the Gaussian elimination process to obtain the matrix on the right hand side. As you can see, the number of leading ones is less than the number of unknowns. Therefore, we have infinitely many solutions. So we call x4 as t, where t is equal to, where t belongs to r, and we solve the other variables in terms of t. So we have x1 equal to minus t, x2 is equal to t, and x3 is equal to minus t, producing the solution set seen below. This ends the uh, tutorial for today. As I said, 
This tutorial includes section 1.1 and 1.2 as per the course calendar. We'll see you in the next one. Good luck.